to the Boston Globe. If you're going to ask somebody to not show up, it's a pretty weak stance to take. And if you're the reporter that wrote that article, the smarter thing of me to have been asked of me of would have been to take a stance. Backing hey. down is not taking a stance. Hasty Pudding Woman of the Year Mila Kunis fires back. This after a Globe columnist said the actress should ditch the honor because Hasty Pudding did not include women in onstage performances. But tonight, some hasty changes. It was just announced that women now will be allowed to perform. Kunis, a longtime advocate for women in Hollywood, is not taking credit for the change, though. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live tonight on the Harvard campus. Mike? Paula, Mila Kunis says this issue is very important to her, but today's change did not happen because of her. Instead, she's giving credit to the students who she says have been working on this for years. We are very proud to take this organization forward as a leader in women's rights and gender equality. Hasty Pudding Theatricals president making the announcement starting next year, women will be allowed to perform on stage for the first time in 170 years. Mila Kunis, the Hasty Pudding Woman of the Year, says she knew this was in the works. I'm here. I wouldn't be here otherwise. And fired back at those, including a Boston Globe columnist who called for her to boycott the award. Backing down is not taking a stance. The actress, who's known for pushing for gender equality, says the change to allow women to perform was inevitable and is giving credit to the students. They've been fighting for this and they have wanted this and they're the reason that this happened. For years, women have been allowed to work behind the scenes, serve on the Hasty Pudding executive board and even try out for roles despite the all-male casting policy for the burlesque shows. Hello, my dear. Liz Cantor is among the handful of female students who have auditioned for roles the last few years. And I just burst into tears because I was so happy. Um, it's such a historic moment, um, and it feels really good. Cantor is graduated in a few months, but is relieved her efforts bringing attention to the issue are paying off. I'm so thrilled for all the women who are younger than I am who will get this opportunity. So the new casting policy kicks in for 2019, and that'll be the group's 171st year of productions. We're live in Cambridge tonight. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.